How can we manifest effortlessly? We're going to talk about this today. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Welcome back, creators. So today I'm going to start a series of manifesting without effort. This will be a series of videos on manifesting because I think all of us can agree it's not supposed to be hard. And suddenly it's become effort. It, it's become a lot of effort. It's become struggle. I, I know all of you can, guys can relate to this out there. It, it becomes where we're using our thinking mind, thinking about how to manifest as opposed to just manifesting. So this is the first in a series, Manifesting Without Effort. Today, being out of your mind. What do I mean by that? What do we mean by being out of your mind? You're literally going to lose your mind. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind. What does that mean? It means the ego mind. It means the thinking mind. Your thoughts will always get in the way. I'm not saying avoid them. And I, I'm not even saying to suppress them. I'm just saying to not place importance on them, not to focus on those thoughts. Know that those thoughts are untrue, that you're just making that stuff up. And so you got to literally get out of your mind. Manifesting is not a mental activity. That's why we've been struggling with it. Right? We, we keep wanting to make it a thinking activity, a mental activity, thinking of our, what we want and then trying to think it and physically manifest it into reality. That's not manifesting, guys. That's, that's hard work. That's, that's using your mind and physical reality to try to, to force things, right? So it's about, it, so it's not about, it's not even about asking, petitioning, begging. It's nothing external to you. This is where we get hung up. We still trying to use external force to manifest that something that, that's really internal to us that's in the metaphysical force you, field. You can't manifest something from the invisible using visible means. It doesn't work, guys. It will never work. It's an inner awareness. It's that being. It's that God consciousness. It's what we've always talked about. You can't even... We're, we're putting labels on it, but most of the greats, great mystics, the great spiritual teachers... The ancients knew that as soon as you start to try to name this, this, this divine matrix, this divine energy, then you start getting into your mind about it. It's something that you can't even comprehend. It's so loving, so powerful, so benevolent, so much goodness. You can't even comprehend it. You can't comprehend it with the thinking mind. So it's more of a feeling. It, it, it's a peaceful feeling, right? You can't get there with the thinking larger mind. Don't try to add to it, right? We try to add to this, um, to this awareness. We try to add to it with our mind saying, well, if, if, it must be this. But guys, that's not how you get there. That's why this analyzing, and that creates resistance. All of that, thinking with your logical mind, trying to add to this awareness, trying to define it, adds resistance. This is, what, this is our first step to manifest without effort. We've got to get there. Simply be aware that you are aware of being aware. I know that sounds like a <laughs> tongue twister, but guys, it's an awareness. So if you're aware that you're being aware, that's the awareness, right? That's stepping out of it, right? When you're aware of something, it's effortless. So that's your awareness. That's your God awareness. You are that awareness, right? So it's simply being aware of being aware that you have that power. How does it, so how do you know? Well, if if you're feeling frustration, if you're feeling worry, if you're feeling any fear, if you're feeling anything but peace and calmness, then you're not there, then, you haven't, then, then you're not being aware of being aware. It's a peaceful state. It's like a lightness, a joy. It's so subtle. But, but there's nothing of fear, there's nothing of frustration, there's nothing of irritation. Anything that feels stressful, irritating, uh, uh, even... even um, even anything overly exciting, you're not there, right? That's still the ego mind saying, wow, I, I did this or I accomplished this, so I, therefore I'm worthy and I'm excited about it. That's still ego. This is more of a lightness. It's subtle. It's there. You feel it. You know when you're there sometimes, right? It's a nothingness state, right? This is what the great mystics have talked about. This is your baseline. Before you even start manifesting, if you're not there, if you're in any other state, that's what's keeping your manifest, manifestations away from you. 
if you're frustrated, if you're angry, if you're not even that, if you're slightly frustrated, slightly irritated, you're away from that peacefulness. If you're overly excited, and there's a, it's ego as well, right? It's more of a, it's more of a, a, a constant, thorough joy, right? It's a thorough joy. It's, it's through your whole being, right? You don't have to jump for joy because you're already that, right? It's a lightness. So this is where we got to get to. You've got to get to that center. How do you do it? By being aware of being aware. Take a couple deep breaths. Know that the, and feel that peace inside. Once you're there, the, you're going to have thoughts, but let those come and go. Don't get attached to them. That's all. Just go, ah, I get it. I'm thinking of this. I'm thinking of that. Let it go. You don't, the, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to purposely be positive. You don't have to purposely not be negative. You don't have to purposely let go of thoughts. Just, just recognize them, be aware of them, observe them, but don't get attached to them. Yeah, this is it. Because when we force ourselves to let go of things, then we're in action again. We're in a physical mind action. So it's just more sort of letting things be in that peaceful state without attaching importance, without attaching judgment to them. This is, what we, this is our starting point. Guys, manifesting without effort. Our next episode, we're going to go a little further in this and, and exactly how do we do it. Yeah. So we'll talk about this more. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to Be Something Wonderful. Hit the notification bell and, and, and like and share our videos. It's totally free, guys. It's totally there for you to enjoy. Subscribe today to our YouTube channel and enjoy the content of Be Something Wonderful. Talk to you soon. This is Tom with great love.